one six old new four four zero. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dearest friends, we have gathered this morning to pray to the Almighty God to have mercy on our sister, our colleague, our mother, Lord Mrs. Pauline Ifeyinwa Chuke. She was with us before, but now she is no longer with us. We have come here to remember her and to ask the Almighty God that in whichever way she may have sinned against him in human frailty, that God may have mercy upon her and receive her in his kingdom. And we have also gathered here to remind ourselves that as she was with us before, and no longer with us physically now, that one day each and every one of us will join the race. We have come also to remind ourselves that this is not our home, that we are visitors here, and one day we shall all depart one after the other. And when we depart, we are going to give account of what we have done. We are going to give account of how we use so many ways God bless us, so many things God has given us, how we made use of all these things. And so my dearest friends, let us also pray that God may help us to bear this in mind always. So that in our dealings with others, we will all know, know that one day we shall give account of our actions. As my brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. 
O oh God, Almighty Father, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery, your servant, Pauline Ifei Wachuke, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of wisdom the souls of the righteous are in the hand of God and no torment will ever touch them in the eyes of the foolish they seemed to have died and their departure was thought to be an affliction and they are going from us to be their destruction but they are at peace for though in the sight of men they were punished, their hope is full of immortality. Having disciplined a little, they will receive great good, because God tested them and found them worthy of himself. Like gold in the furnace, he tried them, and like a sacrificial burnt offering, he accepted them. Those who trust in him will understand truth, and the faithful will abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are upon his elect. The word of the The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want.
should walk in the valley of the shadow of that no evil would I fear for you. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, hope does not disappoint us because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. While we were yet hopeless, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. Why? One will hardly die for a righteous man, though perhaps for a good man, one would dare even to die. But God shows his love for us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Since, therefore, we are now justified by his blood, much more shall we be saved by him from the wrath of God. For if, while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. Not only so, but we also rejoice in God through Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. The word of the Lord. Alleluia. 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 
The Lord be with you. And with A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. At that time, Jesus lifted up his eyes to heaven and prayed, saying, Father, I desire that they also whom you have given me may be with me where I am to behold my glory which you have given me in your love for me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world has not known you, but I have known you. And this, but I have known you, and this know that you have sent me. I made known to them your name, and I will make it known that the love with which you have loved me may be in them, and I in them. The Gospel of the Lord. May the words of the Holy Gospel wipe away our sins. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord. May the soul of Paul in the and the souls of all the faithful departed. May she rest in peace. Glory to Jesus. Glory, glory, glory to Jesus. Good morning to you, my dear brothers and sisters. I don't want to ask you how are you because I know how you are. In, uh, when we gather to say mass as such, we, we gather actually to mourn 
come and mourn with me a while. When we gather for such a mass, we gather to actually console each other, console ourselves, console the family. As such, open doors for the healing process. But there are two songs I like very much. Number one, one is in English and the other one is in Igbo. Let me start with the English one. The English one said, Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still. time like this when we think that God is too far from us the Lord is saying to us just be still and know that I am next to you and the evil one is the one that said oh bim de le jua to no jo oh bim de le ju Shoko mare omo gemere mo Obire ju ato no jo I can hear you I want to hear you better Oh mano toto mane obimbere ju Shoko mare Choko ma we omo ge mere mo o bim dere ju choko ma re omo ge mere mo. But the question is, taking the one that we love so much, is it one of the good things that God knows He will do for us? Can we see it as a good thing that God is doing for us? Anyway, sometimes it's not easy to understand God. Not just some, sometimes, most, most times. It's not easy to understand him, and yet we can't question him. And that is the point. That is where it is painful. We can't question him. Because at least if we could question him, we could go and say, God, again, is he? Expecting an answer. But sometimes we are free to ask questions. And in the due time, God also will answer us. Today, we've gathered for this important request. We are celebrating for our sister Pauline. 
If you want to okay. Committing his her soul to the hands of God Himself. And asking God to grant her eternal rest. Grant her a place among the saints. My prayer today is that the death of Pauline, Pauline will not bring division in the family, will not bring commotion in the family, but let it continue to be a sign of unity for the people she left behind through Christ our Lord. I used to think that I'm used to funeral until last year. Because I worked in a place that every Saturday there's funeral. Sometimes two people, sometimes three people. Funeral every time, funeral every time, every time funeral. You'll be going for funeral that sometimes when you get to the grave, nobody to to cover the grave, you remove your your alb and begin to cover the grave yourself. <laughs> so I thought I'm um, getting used to it until last year when I lost many uh, many people that I know so much, and it broke me down. And I know that these things you don't get used to it. I want to look at the family and say to you, you know, one of the greatest mistakes that happen when we lose someone that we love is that we don't cry. And I'm watching you. If you are not crying today, I will hold you responsible for the death of Pauline. One man, one comedian went to receive Holy Communion. And the priest refused to give him Holy Communion. I saw this comedy. And later on, he went to the uh, priest's office to ask, Father, why didn't you give me Holy Communion? What did I do? Father said to him, the way you are walking after you receive communion, the way you smile, is like you are happy that Jesus died. I'm saying this to you like that. There are things you don't keep in the inside. Don't form a hard man on this. When someone that is close to you die, part of you died with that person. Part of you. And when it is a mother, greater part dies. When your mother dies, greater part of you dies. So don't just go and begin to form, no, it's part of it. I am a Christian. I shouldn't cry. Uh, we shouldn't cry like the hidden do. I don't ask you to cry like the hidden. If the hidden are crying, ooh, 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 cry, ho, 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 ho. that is cry. Don't cry like them, but cry. So don't cry like the hidden. Cry your own cry, but cry. As soon as you begin to cry, the tears that comes out of you is bring is uh, the, the beginning of your own healing for what has happened. Don't take it for granted. This is what I did when I went for one funeral. I actually had to travel far for that funeral. Coming, I saw the, the daughter, the first daughter of the woman was not crying. I said, no. Auntie, please cry. Please cry, cry, cry. He said to me, Father, mm -mm. no, I'm not crying. My mother, uh, my mother died, but uh, 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 I don't know what it is in English. If you know, tell your neighbor. Sorry, if you don't understand this, it's not in my it's not my intention not to speak English. 
but because I, I went to public school, I didn't know English very well. So my English is so, my, my vocabulary is so limited. I'm not apologetic of who I am. That is who I am. So she said that the mother didn't die untimely, that she died at the right age. The mother died only at 60. She said that at the right age, don't harm me, wait. She said, died at the right age. God knows the best. I said, we are not actually talking about what you are talking about. What I'm saying is that mourn your mother, cry. She said she's not going to do it. And after that, she came back to Lagos. They stay in Lekki. They said one day, she was going to her car. She forgot her car. And the person was standing in, in, the, in the center of the road. They were hooting for her. She didn't even know the car was behind her. Only they come and drag her out of the road. She became very sick. And every time in the hospital, she was crying for the mother for one month. Sometimes it can kick you to depression. Sometimes it can distress you so much that things that were not there begin to come out. If you don't know, there are what the, there's a medical term called latent stage. This stage is a stage whereby some certain sickness <laughs> They say, they, in Africa, men does not cry. Men don't cry in Africa. But women do cry in Africa. I don't know if you are crying in this your nose mask. Oh. So I want to see. So remove your nose mask. So I know when you are crying and when you are not crying. Today I'm talking only about crying. <laughs> but, but I want to say this. Organis, just hang on. You are playing so much. You are in the. You are on fire today, huh? Just hang on, because I can't hear myself. I'm only hearing your music. I just want you to imagine this. Imagine this. Imagine when where a woman is having twins in her womb. Twins. I've made this analogy before, but I'm making it again. Twins in her womb. And whether you like it or not, for normal, for normal uh, pregnancy, it takes at least nine good months. Normal. So within these nine good months, at some point, these children in the womb have started knowing themselves. Before you know it, they become friends with one another. And because they are friends, they play together, they, they talk to each other. They understand their language. They become partners. They sleep together, wake up together, do a lot of things together in the womb. And the worst part of this is that them in the womb understand the feelings of the mother outside. They know when the mother is sad, they know when the mother is happy. If you have had a twin before or even a child before, a child in the womb knows your feeling outside. When you are happy, they begin to jump with you and kick. And when you are angry, they know. Now look, look at this. If you are a, a man, if you are the, the, the father of the baby, and each and every time you come from work, you check on the baby. Wow, what are my baby doing? How are they doing? And there is a time you normally come from work, like half past five, six. Every time you do, my baby, how are you? You kiss the tummy. Baby, how are you? I hope you are doing well. At some point, when it is five, five past five, you are not home. They start kicking. They start looking for you. You want to know how I knew? that eventually when the baby finally when they were finally born if they are born they knew your voice to the extent that when you speak they knew when you come home and you talk baby woo, they begin to jump immediately and kick 
Now, when the baby are delivered in the hospital, as soon as you come to see them and you say anything, they open their eye because they know that voice. But if you are a rude person and you always beat up your wife, even when she's pregnant, the baby in the womb will not like you. They begin because they feel they have the feeling of their mother. They already in the womb, they hate you. So when you talk, they are not going to do anything extraordinary. They are calm. They hide themselves because who is that enemy? Who is that terrorist? Who is that Buhari? Hmm. Who are that who is that politician hiding our palliatives? <laughs> to you that these children within these nine months they, they form part they form bonds they become friends they everything then on the day of delivery because they are twins whether you like it or not one will come out first both of them will not just come out together one comes out first and maybe three minutes four minutes five minutes as the case may be now this one comes out what do you think the one in the womb would be saying? The one that left in the womb, in that three minutes, that three minutes is the minute of depression, the minute of stress, the minute of sadness. The question will be, where is my brother? Where is my Where have you people taken him to? The baby might actually be asking questions, God, where, what happened to he, him? Uh, the person, my, 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 my gossip mate, my talking mate, you, you know, this people, the person that the only person I've known all my life, where have you taken this with them? Maybe this is the question. But one thing that this baby did not know is this. In the next three minutes, and perhaps, while he was he's asking this question, he will be hearing that baby, his brother, or sister crying. Did you get that? I didn't hear you. Because all of us, we came out crying. I don't know if anyone came smiling or laughing. <laughs> you come out laughing and you look at your mother and say, Mommy, you have stressed so much. <laughs> you, Mommy, don't worry, it's going to be all right. And he's hearing the cry and tears of the baby, of the other, of his brother. Now that actually collapses his, his or her world. What is happening? Not only they took her out, but it's not even okay where he is. He is crying. What is happening now? Hello, do you hear that? But now, before the day of delivery, one wish that both of them had in their in the mother's womb is that they want to see their mother's face do you hear me that is one wish one wish is we want to see our mom's face you know our mommy she's she's so calm she talks so good we like the way she's soft we want to see they will be imagine how the face will look maybe the face is soft you know, the only word they know is the womb. The womb. They will touch that side and touch that side. Maybe the mommy's face is like this place is soft. Not like this place is hard. Not like that place. This is their imagination. And they want to see that face, no matter how the face is. On the day of delivery, one came out, the other one is, is depressed. Without knowing that in the next three minutes, Next three minutes, he himself will be where his brother or sister is. Now, after the next three minutes, the, the, the voice we'll be hearing again is the voice of push. Push. Now, they have to push him out. Whether I like it or not, come out. Now, he, he, is, he is out now. 
And when they are out, that wish, one wish they had while they were in the womb for many months was to see their mother's face. Now, their eyes are not yet open. It's time for, for waiting. For that few weeks or few days that their eyes will open to see their mom's face. And at that time, all their wish is granted. Think about it. What about if the world is God's womb? And all of us are in the womb. When one of us is born into eternal life, we gather and cry. We gather and cry, why? Where is our mother? Where is Pauline? Where is our father? Where is our friend? And little did we know that where she is very soon, we will find ourselves there. Very soon. And one wish we are all have while we are here is to see God face to face. And in as much as a child is in the mother's womb, he can never see the mother's face. In as much as a child is in the mother's womb, you will never see your mom's face. You must come out of the womb to see your mom's face. In as much as you are in this world, you cannot see God's face. You can imagine whatever you want to imagine. God's face is like this. God's face might be like this. It's your imagination. It's okay. You can paint it. God the Father. Imagine if they ask you to paint God. What will God look like? An old man, Agadi Okwenka, with white beard, white hair, look like that. That's your painting. But what about when you get to heaven and you see God as a young man? Wow! Handsome man. You will be surprised. That will be shocking. And maybe sometimes your imagination, the, the, uh, the appearance of your mother beats your own imagination. But because you are still a baby, you do not have words to explain what you are imagining. And likewise, what will happen to us when we get there? Maybe words, we will not actually be able to explain our imaginations. Whether we like it or not, the homily preached at the funeral is not for the one in the in the corpse, in the in the in the casket, not the, the person in the casket, but it's for you and me. Because today they are there. We gather to pray for them. Tomorrow is either you or myself. There is no two ways about it. And we should live in this world as this as if we are passing. We are not going to live in this world as if this world is a, is a permanent place. There are, you see, when God created me and you, he blessed, blessed us with strength and weaknesses. But I want to say this to you. God knows your strength and God knows your weaknesses. What if God is not going to judge you according to your weaknesses? I'm not, I'm not talking about how God will judge you. I'm not saying this. I'm just imagining. What God, if God is not going to judge you according to your weaknesses? Because he knows that this is what you need to improve in. Or I need to improve on this. You know, no, so I'm not going to judge you on how many times you couldn't control your tongues. You are gossiping about everything that you see. Because there are people who didn't go to university to, but they are professional gossips. Wherever they see you, they will tell you a story that happened before Adam was created. And they know how to, how to magnify, they are amplifiers of stories. What about if God is not going to judge you according to all those things that you did wrong, those ones? But God is going to judge you according to the talent he gave you, the strength he gave you that you refuse to use. What about if God is going to judge you with how many strength God granted to you? I'm not talking about your, this, you know, sometimes when people come for confession, I say to them, talk about your strength today. I want to hear it. After you've confessed your weakness, confess your strength. And I will say to you, go and use your strength. Use it more. Do not allow the weakness to overshadow your, 
strength. Allow your strength to take over. This is important. In our world today, our world, like no other time, needs people who will come and be merciful. People who will come and do good. People who will come and be charitable. Now, more than any other time. What are you doing with your talents? What are you doing with your talent? You're being a Christian. Has any other person benefited from it? You're being a child of God. Has any other person benefited from it? Please, while you are alive, give me what things that I would say about you when you die. I don't want when you die, they bring you here. I'll begin to crack my brain. Maybe she came to church. Oh. Maybe she didn't come to church. Oh. Maybe she was a good wife. Oh. Maybe she was a good husband. Oh. And uh, that husband was drinking a lot. No, let me remove it. It's not important. No, no, no. You can't say that on the funeral. It's not there. Uh, he was beating up his wife. Ah, no, leave that one. No, no, no. We don't talk about that. Give me the thing I will talk about. That is your strength. The thing I will preach in your funeral, you must give it to me. If you don't give it to me, anything you get on your funeral, you take it to. Anything you get, you take it, you accept it like that. Because while we're living our life, we remember that one day is called the funeral day. There's one old woman that I normally visit. Whenever I came to her, she, she brings him book. I said to me, Father, the entrance him on my funeral is this. I say, hey, Mama, are you dying? Yeah, all of us will die now. Huh? You see, Father, during the communion, I don't want them to sing too much. Tell the choir. They wouldn't sing too much. After communion, everybody should be quiet and think about their own lives. <laughs> I visit that ma mama. She was actually, she's, uh, she's actually my mother in the in diaspora. Like she, she was the one who presented me for ordination. She has been my mother in my in the in South Africa when I was ordained. And one year later, she died. I have to go and do everything she gave me. The paper of that thing was in the center of her Bible. I told her daughter that the mommy says that the first daughter, the, that the, he will put the thing in the Bible, go and check. They went there, it's there. And I took it. The whole song, I sang it. So I'm saying to you, what I will do in your funeral, give it to me. What I will preach, give it to me. Don't leave me without anything. If you don't give me anything, I will come there until we are going to go to Bah. <laughs> so I want to say to you, family, that the life of your mother, your wife, your grandmother is seen by the fruit you bear. If by tomorrow you people start fighting, we see Pauline as someone who is not a peacemaker. If tomorrow we see you peaceful, we will know that your mother raised you people well. So please, do us a favor. Don't go tomorrow and let little things to clip into the peace that you people have enjoyed. In a funeral like this, people you think that will support you will not support you. Not even family. People you think that will come there to be there with you will not be there. People you think that this will be, you will not be there. There's one traditional Igbo song that I like, and the, 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 the Umabara are the ones singing that song. Maybe you will not know that because you are not from where I come from. Ndabali the ganga. Oh, 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 oh. I love those songs because those songs communicate what happens in the funeral. On the day of funeral, whoever that have time will come, not everybody. There are people who are supposed to be there, but they are at work. 
That is life. So I want to say to you, please keep peace at home. Enjoy love. Keep loving each other. Do not let anything come between you people. For the sake of your mother, let it be. One day I saw my two sisters cry, uh, fighting over one thing. I said to them, he, if our mother turns in the grave because of you people, you people will not understand. Do not let your mother turn around in the grave. Please. Do not surprise your mother with bad things, but surprise her with change of life, good characters, so that she will be at peace wherever she is. Eternal life grant unto her, O Lord. May the soul of Pauline and soul of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God, may their soul rest in peace. Peace be with you. May we stand for the prayer of the faithful. Let us pray with Father, with faith and confidence to God our Father, who raised his son, Jesus Christ, from death, that he may give comfort to the living and eternal rest to the dead. Let us pray for our departed sister, Mrs. Pauline Ife Mwachuke, that she may receive the fullness of life which she first received in baptism and enjoy the company of the saints forever. We pray, O oh Lord. Let us pray that all God's people will prepare for the glorious day when Jesus will transform their bodies into copies of his own glorious body in heaven. We pray, O oh Lord. For those who are left to mourn the loss of our sister, Pauline Feyumwachuke, may we think today not of the darkness of death, but of the brightness of the resurrection and of the day when we meet again our loved ones whom we lost a while. We pray, O oh Lord. Let us pray for all the faithful departed, that they may reign in the joy of heaven with Christ and the saints. We pray, O oh Lord. Let us commend ourselves and all God's people, living and dead, to Mary, Mother of God, as we say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, 
and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Father, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer of your daughter, Mrs. Pauline, who has departed this life in faith in Christ. Welcome her into the company of your saints in heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Page seven of your booklet. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable before the God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at your hands. And we pray that the glory of his name and the good of all his holy church. Amen. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, Pauline. Ife Yungwachuke, we beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hands. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him, the hope of blessed resurrection has done that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim.
are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift to pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Alfred Martins, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, whom you've called. Remember your servant, Pauline, Feiwa Izukane Chuke, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours now forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your way, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus Christ, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. of contrition oh my god because you are so good i am very sorry that i've sinned against you and by the help of your grace i will not sin again brothers and sisters it is now time for holy communion we know that the grace of this Mass is for all of us. But the reception of our Lord Jesus is for practicing Catholics who have prepared themselves to receive the Lord. We appreciate our brothers and sisters of other denominations who have come to commiserate with the Chuke family. But we implore you to please remain on your seats. Keep praying for the happy repose of her soul. Please, Catholic communicants, come forward. Present your hands properly for the reception of our Lord. of your program, it is well. sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving 
be every moment thine. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Most sacred heart of Jesus, immaculate heart of Mary, holy family, blessed Michael Tansy. Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant us strengthened by it, our sister Pauline Chuke may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Please, if you are the owner of Honda CRV Ashkolo, number ABP 600 CV, Ashkolo Honda CRV ABP 600 CV, please go and attend to your car immediately. Please come forward for the offering. Program page six, new hymn book number 46, old. 125A Blessed Assurance. Holy family, holy family, please, the family is coming out for their open Thanksgiving, so we want friends, family, well wishers to join them as they come out for their open Thanksgiving. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you, Lord. 
what shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say. Thank you, Lord. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All I have to say is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Since we are here, come. The microphone is there. there. Thank you. Good afternoon, all. Uh, it is with great pleasure that, on behalf of the Chuke and Nezia family of Anambra State, on its Anambra State, to thank you for coming out to commiserate with us and to show your love for your friend, colleague, mother, mentor, and advisor. So uh, please permit me to use this opportunity to thank everyone, the parish priests, and all of Holy Family Catholic Church, CWO, Infant Jesus, Undo of Not, St. Vincent de Paul, Lagos State, uh, the, uh, Central Council, my conference, my parish with the Nimbidia team, Catholic Church representation in Kedja GRA, and everyone who has come from far and wide. So thank you very much. And uh, going forward, the burial will take place on the 13th of November at Onicha. The following mass will take place at St. Mary's Catholic Church, Oka Road, Onicha, and she'll be buried at our, at our family house in Obio. Thank you very much. Can you give him a little hand of applause, please? <laughs> Holy family. Holy family now. Um, on behalf of the pastoral team, uh, we we want to let the family know that we are with you in prayers. Your, your mom, your wife, your grandmother, Pauline, is part and, part and parcel of this uh, family, part and parcel of this parish. The parish priest himself, Father Melvis Mayaki, wasn't around, actually. He's not around. He should be here. For those who know him, know that he don't miss event unless if it is the one that is beyond control. So he's actually on his way to some somewhere before this one came in. And uh, Father Mark also is not around. He's gone to uh, he's gone to Ireland for another function. 
myself, Fade Buka, I am also not around. I'm also not around. I have gone to St. Leo's Ikeja to preach fa parish retreat. So I had to run from St. Leo early in the morning to come and be here because one of us, we can't have three priests in the parish and all of us are not around. So I had to run down and told the people who are waiting for program to move it to evening again. So after now, I'm rushing down again to St. Leo's. Um, I want to thank all the functionaries of this mass, the choir. Am I standing in your home? Am I blocking you? Uh, I want to thank the choir. You people did extremely well today. Thank you, choir. God bless you. And uh, I could see in your midst, Brenda, my coach. Welcome. You are not one of us. You are not from this parish. But you came all the way from visitation, First Avenue, with all your traffic and bad roads. You choose to be here at the Mother Parish. May God bless you for coming. God bless you. And I want to thank all the media team. This media team, I don't know where you people come from, but I want to thank you. You people are not like every other media team that cause trouble everywhere. You, they, you people are just hiding. I don't know what you, why are you people are hiding. What are you people hiding from? Just hide yourself one corner and do your job. I hope this video you're doing will be a perfect video. You see, in the church today, there are too many uniforms. Some are green and yellow, black and yellow. Many uniforms in the church. I don't know who is who, but I want to welcome all of you. Thank you for coming. God bless you. As you could hear from the vote of thanks from the family, the, uh, the person that gave vote of thanks thanked the parish priest, so he didn't thank us. I want to thank myself. I won't forget myself. First of all, the priest, the, main, the chief celebrant of this mass is Oga, stand up now. His father, Nelson Uche. He came all the way from Okiwe. Thank you, Father. God bless you. And myself, Fade Buka, a former. I am the, one of the associate parish, parish priest of Holy Family Catholic Church. And I want to thank the altar service, the catechist, and the parish sister. I want to thank Miss, Miss Josephine Okereke. She's the, uh, she's the catechist of this parish. And she's very hardworking does everything at the right time. She is everywhere that she must be at the right time. She's in the right place at the right times. Joe, may God bless you. Thank you for the work you do. And all of us here, thank you very much for your active participation in this Mass. May God bless you. Thank you. Um, you know, Nature, I promise you will see me. But you won't see me in the Mass. I will come at your home. I will come in the house the same day, same day. Yeah? Yeah, so just wait for me. Don't go anywhere. I will be there. <laughs> Thank you. Have a wonderful day and God bless you. The Lord you do. Praise be to our Lord. Uh, we, we wish to thank Father Ebuka 
for running all the race from where he is preaching the retreat to be here. Father, we say, may God bless you. And for teaching us today that we should be writing our, eh? our what? Our funeral oration. So maybe we tell Father Melvis when he comes back, maybe you people will create a department that will be receiving this uh, funeral oration so that when somebody dies, we just go to the file and bring his or her funeral oration and read. Eh? And maybe you'll be in charge of it. <laughs> the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace. The Mass is ended. Amen. Program page 14, Old Hymn Book 218, New 2. Yes. 